guys, I saw the beauty scenario tag going around and it is something that I've been really wanting to do and it has been on my list of video ideas to do. And then Michelle from I'm a Mommy here on YouTube tagged me in it and I thought, okay, I'm gonna bump it up and do that video. So thank you so much, Michelle, for tagging me in it. First question is, you have to get rid of all of your foundations. You can only keep one high-end and one drugstore. What do you keep? The high-end's pretty easy because I only wear one high-end foundation, and it is definitely my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundation. This is my favorite high-end foundation. I have tried a lot of samples of other high-end foundations, and none of them seem to work for me very well. And my drugstore foundation, my favorite, is the CoverGirl 3 in one foundation. I have been wearing this foundation for the past year and a half, maybe even two years. I've gone through several bottles of these and it definitely is my favorite drugstore foundation. Next up, you go into an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or do you ignore it completely? I would definitely approach it and then I would give her a compliment because I think giving a compliment after you tell somebody something like that, it always helps make it easier and kind of breaks the ice a little bit. So I would be like, oh, you have a little bit of lipstick on your teeth. And that's a really pretty color, by the way. You know, so that way it's not just, oh, you have lipstick on your teeth, ugh, and then you kind of both feel kind of awkward when you're done. Next up, you are not feeling yourself and you need a pick-me-up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel better. I was so torn. I have two lipsticks that I go back and forth with that are my favorite and they are completely opposite. One of them I'm wearing right now, it is a buxom lipstick. It's like this little like stick, you know, because lipstick is a stick, so it's a stick. Uh, <laughs> it's like this, I don't know how new they are, but I got it like not too long ago. But it's buxom and the color is Acapulco. And then my next color is from Walmart. It is a Revlon Just Kitten Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and it is in the color Love Sick. And it is this like bright pink lipstick. Every time I wear it, I have a compliment. I always feel prettier. I don't even have to have that much like foundation on, but if I wear this, I just look way good. Like how pretty is that shade? You go back in time to your teenage years. How would you do your hair and makeup differently? Well, I was in my teenage years just like three or four years ago, <laughs> so not that long ago, but I really don't think I would do much anything different because my hair is kind of the same how it was in junior high and high school. I had long hair, it was blonde, I never really colored anything crazy, I would just put a couple highlights in my hair. And with my makeup, right now I wear a lot more makeup than I did in high school and junior high. In high school and junior high, I would wear foundation, but I wouldn't you know, pay attention to my eyebrows, I wouldn't do lip liner or anything like that. So I really wouldn't change anything. Um, Michelle mentioned that she would not have plucked her eyebrows so thin and I would have to steal that from her as well. I probably wish I didn't pluck my eyebrows. Okay, this next question, I have to remind myself that I am a hairstylist. It's a scenario, so I'm just gonna go ahead and treat it like a scenario. You ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut. What the heck is that? But they hear you wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you smile and say thank you and leave your mom and call hysterically crying? B, cry in the chair and things get awkward? Or C, complain to a manager and demand a refund? I would do all of the above. I would cry, I would complain to a manager, like I would be that should not have happened because in the consultation I should have told her what I wanted what I didn't want and she should have repeated it back to me so that we were on the same page so that would not have happened but I would do all of the above and I would definitely complain and I would get my money back your friend surprises you with a four-day city break and you have one hour to pack which do-it-all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? When I first saw, when I first read it's a do-it-all makeup palette, in my head it's a eyeshadow palette, 
like bronzer blush all in one. I just have like eyeshadow palettes, so my all in one eyeshadow palette would definitely be the Lorac Pro palette. I have used the crud out of this palette and I still have a long ways to go, but this is my all in one palette. I could just have this palette, no other eyeshadows, and I could do whatever I wanted, use whatever makeup look I want. It is my favorite eyeshadow palette. Your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everybody is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? First off, if my beauty stash has been raided, no one in the house is safe. I'm gonna go crazy. My beauty stash better not have been touched. But one beauty item that I really hope that would not have gotten stolen in the robbery would definitely be my hourglass blush. It is the ambient lighting blush in mood exposure and I'm wearing it today and it is my favorite blush. It is my favorite blush and my favorite beauty item. It has the cutest little packaging. It's definitely one of the most expensive items I have in my little makeup collection, my little makeup stuff that I have. So this would definitely be the product that I would hope nobody would steal. The last one is your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. A, would you pretend you haven't noticed? B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same thing to theirs. I would B, ask them to repurchase it. It doesn't matter if my blush is $3 or if my blush is $40. I try and take really good care of the stuff that I have because I have worked hard and that is my hard earned money that I've used to buy all of my stuff. So yeah, I would say, oh, you broke my blush, you need to buy me a new one. But if they dropped their makeup bag and it was an accident and they said, oh my goodness, Elia, your blush broke, I would say, oh, don't worry about it. That's okay. But if they just gave me my blush back and a few days later I saw that it was shattered, I would call them up and say, um, you need to buy me a new blush. So it kind of depends on the situation. So that is the beauty scenario tag, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Michelle, for tagging me in it. And if any of you want to do it, definitely do it and let me know so I can see the videos that you guys do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!